Vortex is a cloud gaming service that was made in Poland and currently has 15 data centers around the world. These data centers are in regions including the United States, Europe, Central and South America, Canada, and Southern Asia. We consider Vortex to be a middleware or pick up and play type of cloud gaming platform similar to other platforms like GeForce Now and Boosteroid. In this video, we'll run through how to set up Vortex on your iPhone if you're an active subscriber. Let's get started. As of now, the Vortex app is not an official app on the App Store. We'll have to go to the Vortex game site and add the shortcut directly. It's not the Vortex homepage, but we'll go to the game launching site by opening up a browser and going to webui.vortex-api.gg. We will add this page as an app to your iPhone by adding it to your home screen first. Step 1. Tap the Share button on the toolbar. Step 2. Select Add to Home Screen from the menu. Step 3. Launch Vortex from your home screen. You can now use this shortcut as a way to access Vortex like an app. After that, go ahead and hit the Vortex shortcut to get started. Log in if you're not logged in already. Be aware that Vortex is not accepting new subscribers at the moment. Once you're logged in, you will have access to play the cloud games available for your tier. The dashboard is where you'll find all the games Vortex has to offer. I'm going to start playing CSGO. Now hit the game of your choice and hit the button Play Now to start that game up. Now just before you get started, I would also recommend a controller connected to play through Bluetooth. Go to your Bluetooth settings on your iPhone and connect your controller there. Once finished, go back into the app and play the game as you would regularly. If you don't have a controller connected, Vortex has an in-game controller that you can use which I'll show here. I would also highly recommend turning your iPhone to landscape mode to view your game much better. The in-game controller has a default layout for the games you start playing. There is a short number pad for 1 to 5. There's also a keyboard button to show the in-game keyboard so you can type in areas where you need a keyboard to type. The icon in the top left corner is the Vortex menu. The first menu item is the touchscreen controls editor. The next item is the gamepad mapping customizing tool. The last option is the disconnect button. I will choose disconnect to leave the game. This will exit you back to the Vortex game launching site where you can choose a new game or exit the app altogether. That ends this tutorial of how to get playing with Vortex on your iPhone. Remember, Vortex isn't accepting new subscribers or new accounts at the moment since their acquisition from Intel. But if you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to give us a like. Also, make sure to subscribe and keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.